Hello. Hello. Um, is this Mr. Mnaga speaking? Sorry? Is this Mr. Mnaga speaking? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> speaking. <laughs> Hello, I am looking for a Did you hear on that set the song? Um, Sit this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Young Stunner goes, Dalang Yung Funa, Michael. Michael. Dalang Yung Funa, Michael. Is it not my girl? It sounds right, oh, but I'm pretty sure. It's Dalang Yung Funa, Michael. Ah, come on. I kid you not. On. Listen to it. Ooh. Play it. I have place. Play no, we're going to get flagged. If we can't play it, we'll get flagged. No, 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 they'll edit the guys. Once we're done listening to it, we talk about what we heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. So play it. You guys will edit out the part where we're playing. We're just playing set there. Oh, we could just read the lyrics, bro. Oh, oh. you came prepared. <laughs> no, no, Fact Checker can get the lyrics. Fact Checker? Mm. Yes. For set there? Okay, let me find the lyrics. I'll be the Fact Checker. Fact Checker, don't worry, you can go and leave for the next two minutes. Mari mm. says, Dalangig Fu, na, my cat. I'd like to think it's my girl. <laughs> it sounds like my girl. Young Stana, you've seen. He's got like five girlfriends, bro. Like, it's all over Instagram and Twitter and stuff. Yeah. Yo. So you think I'm hearing things? Masharela, Wi Fi, what's going on? It's, I've said, said the Stana lyrics. kind of kicked us out. <laughs> the oh, Wi Fi is acting up, done? right? Is it done? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, but listen to it. Trust me, man. Okay. I don't trust you, bro. <laughs> what do you mean trust Because you are pushing Michael. <laughs> yeah, you wanna, you are, you know, you're pushing Michael. <laughs> nah, no ways. There's something wrong with the Wi-Fi and there's no network here. Yeah. No, talang yung funa. Michael. Talang yung funa. Michael. Ah, it's Michael. Oh, Michael still sounds weird, though. Hmm. Why this? Michael? That's what. Well, that what did Michael do? Michael nah. makes My sense. Da. Michael went thing. What that's did Michael what, do? That's what I want to know. Because Dalam Fu, no, my kid. Ooh. Ay, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, you just said he's got. Dalang Yik Fu, no. My kid. My dad. Dalang Yik Fu, no. My dad. In another way. Okay, it's fine. We'll listen to you. Yeah, no, 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 no. It can't be Michael, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. But even if it was, yeah. I then uh, I, but it can't be because we've seen young Stana. Mm. Remember, even for the guy, there's a CCTV footage of a guy um, oh, yeah. attacking him over a girl. Mm. Can't be Michael. Mm. Definitely can't be. Not but with young Stana. swings both ways? Oh, yeah, that's fine then. Mm. But it's probably not because we've never seen him swinging both ways. But Only he's one he's way. He's saying it in the song. But how many songs do we say it's wrong? Like how many? Yeah, songs? like Charu, like Are you ready? For example, and all of us say Are you ready instead of R U L E. Hey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you didn't know? Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Lopez, Charu, Are you, you ready? Yeah. Where you? It's R U L E. It's not Are You Ready. Charu. Oh, for real. You see how you're fucking up these lyrics. Oh, R-U-L-E. So it, so it must not be Michael then. Mm, okay, mm. anyway. In our motivated, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to it. We are back. Yeah. So Paduka is here. Yeah. Ghost Lady's here. Malikant is here. Fed Checker is here. Welcome back. Aya is here. Yeah. And you are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, all my life, people have been telling me, Mac, you're a genius. Hi, I'm like, nah, man. Get out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a genius. He's an ass. <laughs> He's an ass. <laughs> okay, so I found out this week I'm actually a genius. What did you discover? Hey, tell us. Tell us more. So I found out that I am right-footed but left-handed. Huh? And there's only a few people like that in the world, and I'm one of them. You're left-handed? Yeah, I'm left-handed and right-footed. <laughs> You're left-handed? Yeah, no. you left footed, right, right handed. Yeah. I'm right, I'm left handed. I'm, re- I'm left handed. 
I'm left handed. I am right footed. It's good. No, I'm left footed, right handed. Genius, right now. Oh, you're left footed. Yeah, and right handed. Oh, come on, left. Maring palang or right. But isn't it to balance though? If I live in LA. No, it's rare. If I check a Google for them, it's very rare. There's no way. Oh, yeah, our Wi-Fi. Man, damn it. The Wi-Fi is very. I got Wi-Fi. It's active on. Mine. No, no, it's on, but it's not working. It's not working. So let's let's use. Oh, and there's no so like, network inside here. Oh, yes, it's the weirdest thing. But I'm telling you, Google it, bro. There's only a handful of people like that. For real. Yeah. Who are? It's not even being ambidextrous. It's just. Yeah. Ambidextrous <laughs> is when you use left and right. Mm -hmm. oh. You're able to use left and right. Okay. It's just that you. Upper limb is right. The one is strong, but the opposite lower limb is strong. Mm. That's crazy. And it's you? rare. I'm sure there's a word for that. Yeah, and it's rare. So how did you discover that? Wow, bro. That? Yeah. Like, what were you doing? Uh, no, uh, uh, my woman told me, uh, hey, Ziggy's a genius. Uh, he's, he's also left-footed and right-handed. Jesus, problems. <laughs> <laughs> problems. So I'm like... <laughs> big problems. <laughs> So you're trying to say your son's gonna end up here. Yeah. Problem. <laughs> World War Four. This, this is what she's. Uh, Problem. Okay. So she tells me that, and a few days go by, and then I figured I'm the same. I'm like, oh, I'm also a genius. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why did it take you a few days to figure it out? Don't you know that to come on left, to pull on right? I didn't know until that time. Hey. I didn't. Like I thought it was normal. You I thought everybody was like that. You thought everybody would come on. Hey, I think I said Kelly Paula. I believe. Okay, come on left. Go outside and come on left. But I'm left in. I'm too in. But they call it football. You suck at football. Yeah, but doesn't mean I can't kick with my left. Why did you but suck? It means because you're a genius. Your right, the right is actually a strong foot. <laughs> <laughs> You just been doing it wrong. <laughs> what if you suck? Cause you're right. Just, you just think it's your leg that is strong. That's how I was gonna get. Like think unless you're it. like am some amazing like footballer or something, then it can be like wow. But you are just you just walk with your feet though. So if you no, play but, but when I did research, they said people like that should uh, uh, shouldn't do uh, athletics or like anything uh, at athlete wise. So I, I should uh, venture more into creative side. Oh. So you're driving, if you drive an automatic, you're driving with your weaker foot. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, I drive my weaker foot, yes. <laughs> God, I'm a genius. I'm never you, you, able. Un you won't understand, guys. I'm a I genius. I'd never be. Have you tried driving? Fun oh, your boy did it. <laughs> La Piro. It was a woman in Cape, Cape Town, right? And La Piro was driving on automatic for the first time, it seemed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going left. Who bring on left? So he's going like this. I'd never be able to drive with my weak foot, like especially like the brakes and stuff. Yeah, man. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. That's weird, eh? So I'm a genius, man. Mac genius. Call me Mac genius. Okay. Hey, well done on your newfound genius, man. <laughs> That's just only good for podcasting, I guess. Eh? <laughs> yeah, bro, that's crazy, man. Anyway, did you guys hear Trevor Noah stepping down from the Daily Show? Stepping, yeah. wait, stepping down mm. or leaving or or leaving or fired? What? What's the tech? No, he's stepping down. Word. He's stepping down. Oh, no, for real? Yeah, he's no more doing the Daily Show. He's been hosting it since 2015, and now he's not going to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, shout out to him. I think he represented us pretty well. Yeah, shout out to him, bro. But I was shocked. I'm like, Keish, why would you want to leave such a good gig like that? Yeah, especially when the previous host did it for how many decades, mm. right? Uh, um, John, what's his name? Stewart. Stuart. John Stewart. Yeah. But then I realized you don't want to do that those kind of shows for too long because then you'll be known as the Daily Show guy. Yeah, yeah. And it's tough to get another gig. Yeah, and no. I, I, but I guess that's why they pay you that much. Because mm. they know that after this, probably you you can't do another late night show or in, or a lot of things because you've, you've been typecasted. Can you imagine how many offers he's getting right now, bro? He must be getting a shitload of offers. But, but I know he wants offers? to... No one's going to offer him to do a late night show because then it's going to be a daily show. Yeah. No, I think like Trevor's smart. So whatever he's going to get into next is it will make sense to us once he announces oh definitely i mean he's there mm. but what else can you do like uh, it's rare where you see a guy go from but trevor can because trevor could, would kill a rom-com acting for example he yeah would kill it ladies love him mm. he's cute mm. you know mm. 
He's but he funny. wants to he's focus witty. on um, his uh, standard, uh, stand-up comedy. Oh, he's going back to stand-up. Yeah, that's what. That's why he actually... That's what yeah. I find weird, man. Like, I think there's something to the story. Maybe he's not particularly stepping down. Maybe there were differences. Because, like, he can still do stand-up. It's, it just sounds like, oh, you want to focus on stand-up? It just doesn't, there's something. But apparently the, doing the daily show can be quite draining. Because remember, course, you have to do this yeah. daily and it's, it's, it takes a lot. Guys. Just say that. And a, a person like me would understand. Because I value rest. Like, sometimes you just have to like, hey, you know? Just, it's fine. Like, if he's like, oh, I can't do this. It's been seven years. I don't have a life. I can't do anything else. Then that's okay. Did you guys hear that Hubbly Bubbly is more dangerous than cigarettes? Oh yeah, I've always known. I've always known that. I've always known that. That's my reason for not smoking Hubbly. Hubbly is more dangerous than weed, more dangerous yeah. than cigarette. It's the worst thing you can That's smoke. That's why I stopped. Sure. I used to smoke Hubbly hectic, like I think what? It's been reported Seven that smoking ago. Hubbly Bubbly can give a person as much as nic- as much nicotine as 10 cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. And contains an estimated 36 times more carbon monoxide than the smoke from a cigarette. Some of the other effects include the increase in heart rate and blood pressure, yeah. diabetes, tuberculosis, mm-hmm. herpes, and other diseases. Oh, fuck. Jeez. And yeah, also, you, 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 it's water. You know, like you're literally smoking or, or inhaling water. So you put water into your lungs. So that's also mm. another thing. Yeah. And then because uh, I'm a genius, I can't smoke hubbly because I smoke it my right. <laughs> oh. Hi, Bo. Uh, you I smoke it. Know. Watch. Right you hand. inhale it in your, in your left lung. <laughs> <laughs> when it's supposed to go to your right lung. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think you inhale the steam from the water. I think it's just it's that the smoke gets almost... There's small particles of water that actually end up oh, in your lungs. Real? Yeah. And that's bad. Yeah. Water has no business being in your lungs, mm. right? Like over, over, it's not like one pool already, yeah. but this is over like a. a yeah, how is bad? I'm one of those people like I research things, yeah. right? Mm. So if I'm interested in something, like now I watched the uh, Jeffrey Dahmer and then I've like, <gasps> been greeting up on, like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy, right? So. Who's that? A serial killer, serial killer. Some serial killer in the US. He killed uh, um, like 17 men and boys. Um, he would just say he loves them or lure them and then he kills them eh. so that he can have a piece of them and then he would eat them mm. oh goodness. like you'd eat his heart out you know like you'd fucking fry their heart no <laughs> way yeah and like eat you know that's sadistic bro yeah and then he'd keep like the skull he'd keep a skull in the bag he'd in the keep, fridge yeah he'd, yeah he'd dry up the bones in the microwave and the neighbors would complain like hey what the fuck is going on there i heard someone scream there were two of you now there's one of you walking out in the morning there's a fa- foul smell and you'd be like oh yeah 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 i bought too much pork my fridge is not working that's the smell that you are, you are smelling and he's literally um fucked up guy bro he's literally chopping people up yeah Eating them up in his apartment, meatballs, and just having bro, a fucking. It's field wild. Day. Like America Birth is like some of the weirdest serial killers, man. It does. I gotta say, it's. I think it's because of those basements. Have you seen all those houses have basements? And weird shit happens in those basements. In all serial killer, uh, like oh. Darky. Yeah, even even with him, he you know, was chopping them up in the basement. In his grandmother's I, house. We don't have his basements. Grand, <laughs> in his grandmother's house. Yes, yeah. Yeah. grandmother's chopping them up. But let's be honest, great things happen in basements. So many like iconic albums, music albums, all got created in basements. So it's. Isn't it just a studio? Balance. <laughs> At the end of Yin the day. Yang or whatever. It's just a studio. It's just a room. Yes, it's just an extra room where normally a lot of people don't go down. So you've got privacy. So you can either do a hobby, you know, build a business or just kill people. No, I'm saying like, imagine go, 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 Kasi. If we had basements, we would see shit. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. See those things. Like what? Hey. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Say, well, wait, hey. wait, wait, wait. Say, guys, if we had basements, hey. what would we see? Go hey. our basement. Well, hey. Yeah? Hey. Uh, let's not even start there, bro. Wait, what would we see? Ah, oh, man, some fucked up shit goes in basements, man. Hey. So I don't think in Popo so. there were basements. Yeah. What would we see? I don't know. We don't have, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
just saying every serial killer docu or movie that I watch, it starts in the basement. basement yeah. Ne? So we yeah, don't have true. basements. So imagine if we did. Weird shit always. I mean, I remember there was this one movie I watched. I forgot what the title is. So the guy is like a, a war veteran, but he went blind, right? So he knows his house like the back of his hand. Oh, okay. And then this kid whose dad has an alarm company then keeps on breaking into people's homes because he's got the codes and knows mm. how to break the alarm system. Mm. Gandhi goes into a blind man's home, mm. right? Blind man... They don't realize he's a war vet. He's very flexible. He gyms. You know what I mean? You can't fucking outperform him in his own house. Exactly. And then he keeps the girl. Ne? So the guy, he lost his... Uh, 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 um, he lost an unbirthed child or something like that. Jeez. And then he keeps the girl in his basement. Mm. Rapes the girl because he wants a, a child from the girl. Mm. And keeps... The, the the girl uh, uh, thingy chained up chained up in the basement mm. it's always a basement mm-hmm. though so I get you I watched another one where um, the, the the father locked his daughter up in the basement I think I've seen that and, and one, the, more than one just one it was one daughter and then he had a family with the yes, daughter for like oh. 30 years oh. yeah. he had like four kids with her yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. the basement his oh. own daughter his own daughter yeah, he was having sex with her and he was living a normal life. He'd come back, chain them up. He, the kids were raised Inside, in the basement. They didn't know anything else. For yeah, yeah, years. and that's kids, right? And you can imagine as a kid, it's possible for you to have actually a happy life because that's all you know. Yeah. You think... That's it. There's other kids in other basements somewhere. And <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's the basement life. way. Basement living. It's like, you know, it's, like, it's like a poor child. Yeah, basement way. I'm a party. You have a party. That's all I get. No, but it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like. The living ancestors. <laughs> no, but it's like, it's like a poor child, right? They don't know that. They're actually in poverty. Mm. They just think this is life. Mm. Mm. But genuinely, until they realize, oh, fuck, sense. the sunlight out there when they see, they visit MacGyver's place in Pogtown. Like, hey, yeah. I think I'm a TV game. <laughs> yes. I'm a, I'm a Melrose and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, so the kids are like that. They just adapt and find happiness You, you, you grew up in the hood. If one of your friends had a basement in the hood, would you go down? <laughs> would I go down? Yeah. If, you, if they invite you to the house and they see, you see they got a basement, would you go down to the basement? It depends. There's always <laughs> red flags. No, there's always red but flags. But as a like, kid, you're curious. You'd go. Nah, there's always red flags. Like, there's always houses where you're never, you were never comfortable because somehow there's just something off. Yeah. Yeah, you know, either there's, there's the, the smell or, or you know, yeah. there's just something off. So... As a kid, though, you would if you find comfort in that home. But mm. normally there's just things in, in homes that never sit well. There's yeah. some homes that were just funny as a kid. Mm. And it smelled weird. Or it's like... I think when you're a kid, you can sense vibes. vibes mm. yeah. Like you're very big on vibes. Like mm. you can just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or more puggy, you're like... You can have one... Hey, my mom, young bees. I'm young bees. I'm young bees. Or I like that poor like moving you know, and you just think that man, you know, because of those vibes. Yeah, yeah. Telling you now. But sometimes you hear your you hear your mom say things, so it also makes you very skeptical. Mm. Like you've heard someone in the family be like, "Hey, labayana, hi, gabatembi." So, for real. Yeah, hey. That's crazy, man. That's nuts. The only basement I know is a friend of mine had a basement but it was like the entertainment room so we'd play fifa there and stuff like that oh shit no oh, it was one that of those like a mansion yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah like uh, underground yeah, and yeah. With no window room you, wow you know what I'm you know what I'm like a cellar but it would be turned into something else yeah like, yeah dope yeah. Like anybody excited thing. about uh the woman king you know I'm gonna oh, see it. Oh, woman yeah. king! Yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah. So today I met two ladies. We interviewed them on the breakfast show from Woman King. Mm. Um, Baduza, but Butaza, Baduza. Mm. Um, oh, I forgot her name now. Ooh. Is it Imani? Baduza and Chioma Imela. So Chioma Imela is a South African girl, but her dad is Nigerian. And then there's the Inline King also. So Stephen Guess is there, I think. Yes. Yeah. Tusum Bedu. Oh, yes. shout out to Tusum, man. Yeah. 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 It's an offer. Back on. Oh, gosh. 
I can't believe I got the and she's so gorgeous. Yeah. Um, yeah. Up, up, Utaza. Okay. Uh, Patuza. Yeah, yeah. What were they saying in the interview? They were saying that they learned so much from Viola Davis, like yeah. how to own a character. Like you can't fake your way yeah. uh-huh. through a character. You need to live and be that character and stuff. You know. Mum Corny, the one we recently interviewed, Con- she gives Mom me Vi- yeah, she gives me Viola Davis vibes, man. Yeah. Like she's uh, she's she. Nah. Yeah. 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 yeah she's man, brilliant. I can't wait, bro. Like, cause we never really hear stories of of Africa coming out of ho- Hollywood. So it's always special when movies like about Black Panther and yes. Woman King come out. And the fact that there were actually women at some point who were warriors and protected yes. a whole, you know, region and and, 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 and village yeah. and the protected a people that consisted of men and kids and there were women at the forefront. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. It's brilliant. Make sure you check it out, man. It's available at, at all uh, State, State Clinical Cinemas. Cinemas. Yes, yeah. nationwide. Yeah. Yeah. I'll check it out, Yo. man. That thing Yo. I think is crazy. It's just amazing, man. It's and, you, and you, Ghost Lady, what have you been watching, man? Well, you know how much I love, you know, anything to do with love, ne? Yeah. So there's this beautiful show that has come up and it's called um, Sunday Sexy Love. So it's just re- includes couples that are going to just be, you know, just we're talking about their intimacy and also just their love. And this, it's already started um, on Sunday. So it's at six, nine o'clock. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. On, on Mzansi. Mzansi Magic. Mzansi Magic so are the couples one, local six, couples one. or international? No, no, local couples. Oh, for real? Yes. Oh, ah. damn. Yes. Who are the couples? So we're going to show you we're going to see Uzi Intle, no bongs. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Zika and bongs. Yes. Ah. Yes. I think even yeah. Dira is going to be there. Yeah. Dira and Dira. his wife. Yeah, boy. Wow. You know? So hey, can you imagine Bonx and Zintle's uh, like intimacy out there? <laughs> hey, I've always wondered, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Why? Why would you find it weird? Because they're like both DJs, so I wonder if they, you know. How? My mind goes. <laughs> tell us, tell us. Where, where does it go? We're with your mind, let's go. No, I'm thinking like, do they compete on <laughs> ah. <laughs> BPMs, you know, shit like that. <laughs> Are they in sync? <laughs> <laughs> Who cues? <laughs> <laughs> and what beat to do they? <laughs> bangs per minute. BPM. How many bangs per minute are they clocking? You know what I mean? Yeah, curious, eh? <laughs> Which other couples, yeah? No, we're also going to have like uh, Kaifas and Leta Mbul. Kaifas and Leta Mbul, yes. okay. Yeah, yeah. Kaifas? Simenya. Yes. And Mum Letter. Yes. You wow. know they are the original guys. Wow. They yeah, are, they're like the. They are the like original. They're like original power couple. Yeah. In exile before even like. Hey, so they also part of the show. Yeah. Damn, wow. that's a wild show. Eh? But I think no, it's they, a beautiful. It's a beautiful show. I like, want, they probably will be there. Won't they be there like to give advice to the young couples because they've stood the test of time, fame and everything exactly, else together, exactly. ups and downs so of being artists. It it's just sharing your love story and also just, you know, you get to see them, you know, and just listen to them. And just, obviously it gets to the whole intimacy and how what keeps them going, what they love. So we'll hear about Zintle get to what frequency are they at. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So are they like a power couple now, Zintle and and then bongs. They are, dog. I they mean, are. didn't, didn't yeah. you see Drip has like even uh, uh, they have perfumes? A whole perfume. Perfumes. Yeah, yeah his, and, his her. and hers. And it's f- she said in the female version, he that's power couple stuff. Mm. Have you ever envied being like in a power couple? Never. Ne? I'd never. If it's I were so to like, pressure. if I were to ever date a celebrity, it wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. Mm. Maybe the public can know we date, but it wouldn't be a thing. Mm. We will let the public into our thing. Which or celebrity would you date right now? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like to give power couple vibes. Yeah. Who do you think yeah, it's yeah. like I'm? Yeah. Mina now must be There's right. a celebrity didn't care uh, Kuno. D- I can't even Google that. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. Man. You don't know didn't care Kuno. Mm-hmm. I, Definitely date her. Because she? she's simply super talented. Like, she's really good. Mm. And she on, it's attractive. On, For me, that's on, attractive. Is she on Gamora? Or what is she on? Do you think Kuno, man? She's on thingy. It's so no. It's so no. Yeah, did a lot of theater work. She's going to blow up in terms of her voice like she does a voice for cartoons mm. she's fucking brilliant mm, mm. oh she's incredible oh. 
And she's gorgeous. Like mm. she's just very beautiful. And you, ghost lady, who would you be? Yo, 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 yo. Mosquito. <laughs> mosquito. Mosquito. <laughs> never. Oh, man. Hey, wait, no. <laughs> oh, please. Who would it be, ghost lady? <sighs> wow. Mauta. Stop trying to. Mauta. Tato, respect me. I'm jokes. No. I'm man, jokes. You know, okay. Oh, rest in peace, jokes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sia and Rachel Colisi are, you know, are also part of that show as well. Okay. So, at you know, Sia has those vibes. You know, I like, um, you know, you know, sportsmen. So, you like Shaka Zulu looking motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. You know, Sia Colisi. Yeah. Okay, I see with Sia. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see me with Sia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. The girl from our thingy. Um. Woman King, Masali Paduza. She's gorgeous. I'd actually date her as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's like gorgeous. I wish you could. The guys will put up a picture of yeah. her. She's very gorgeous. Mm. Dark, gorgeous. Anyway, are we surprised that uh, kids are fucking and getting pregnant? Haven't they been? Mm. They've been. Say. Like, what is this? Like, uh, high school pregnancy now? Yeah, it's been reported that the Mpumalanga Education Department is concerned as it recorded 91,000 pregnant learners last year. And that was revealed by the Minister of Education. So high school 90, kids 1, are added. Yeah, high school kids are added. They're rocking. Okay, that's a, that's a big number. Yeah. 91,000. 91, Guys, that's almost 100,000 kids. First and number one, how, how many kids? Okay, maybe they're in the millions, right? Mm. In, who are in between grade eight and matric? Sure, but ninety-one thousand is a large number. But think about it, man. In high school, Social you're media. horny as fuck. Yeah, and a lot of people, not us, you and I, lost their virginity in high school. But like, surely in this day and age, you know, good, you get condomized. You are like me. I started having raw sex like maybe after one or two relationships. Ah, oh, these kids don't care, bro. They don't give a damn. There's one. Line. She's got her hand up. Nigeni Mike. Nigeni Mike. Nigeni Mike. I know I'm a fact checker and I'm supposed to be checking the facts, but did they stipulate if the sex was consensual? Because sometimes it could be products of rape. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Good point. Because not all Good teenagers. point. All of them know about contraceptives. All of them know about condoms. Those who do not have it or who have it without condoms are in serious relationships, quote. So in what about school, the rest? Though, yes, there's such a thing as a serious relationship in high school. Condomless sonar. It happens. <laughs> <In high school. laughs> it happens. They call it Isan. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nerd. He's a That's the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I want to like why serious relationships and I, I know those. I remember there was a couple. There's all of those couples and there's who's like Kuluman, like Kulume. The whole thing break three minutes. You lunch. Uma pega para Kuluma. Who's Sunday? You're like, cause you like thinking, fuck. Then say, oh hello, so boy, I'm gonna Yeah. Hey, when you when you're in high school, how many times did you hear of girls being pregnant? How many? None. Exactly. In my school, none. And we're in a convent. <laughs> <laughs> you said none. So <laughs> I had a double check. In my high school. I didn't. Maybe there was a girl, but maybe not in my grade, because in my grade, we would have heard. Also, also, when I was in high school, I also don't really remember. But what I've seen when I speak to like my cousins who are younger these days, it's very common. Yeah. The kids will be like, yeah, no, there's like five girls who are pregnant in my high school. Damn. Uh -uh. Like, so it's normal. Mm. It's this is just the norm. This is where it gets but, like. But think about it, man. All they do is consume sex on social media. That's, that's all the it problem. is. People that's are just selling said. sex. Sex, is it, sex, is sex, it, sex. Is social media not the problem? Nah, guys. I mean, social media. When we were kids, we had Hustler magazine. There were porn magazines. That wasn't easily I'm accessible. I'm a cassette. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't I'm easy. a cassette. Easily Dude, you can go I'm on your phone uncles. right now. You can go on your phone, phone now. You watch Uncle Waffles' video. She's selling sex. Yeah. Come on now. Why? TikTok. Okay, connect you, you that go to me there, you, you see CN Buji saying, I'm getting charged for 50k a week. Come on now. Exactly. TikTok connect that. Just... Connect. Bro, in high school, when we were in high school, there were kids who were fucking on the school grounds, on the school premises. Yeah, you'd just hear that. After, like, 
En vooral mijn pankmens. Hangt je in field, hij en Jure paant ik mee graag gaan halen. Maar ze maar fans zien. They were fucking, they were fucking in the change rooms by the field. But see how often they fucked so? by the stairs. Everybody knows. How often? Hoe poel men uit je haai got fucked by the stairs? <laughs> My friend told me. I won't say what year. We know. Guy, but nigga, won't put my boy in Nigeria. Then number one. But like, but you sound, you sound so sad. It sounded like you, you missed out because you're not part of the action. The way you're speaking. Because <laughs> like niggas were getting some, I wasn't. Everybody at first, at first they were almost like, yo, people really loved her. Like she was hot. Yeah. You know, but like it happened. So what I'm trying to say is, the kids of are not having more sex than our cooler peers were. Because I wasn't having sex in high school. But the cool guys who had the minerals of getting a girl to drop her panties in high school, they were doing it, you know what I mean? But we were not having as many pregnancies. It's, let's be honest, guys. Nazi, we were preparing for high school in our... Aya, you see, you're nodding. People were fucking bro in high school. Well, but that's, the, the pregnancy wasn't you're, you're like... That- You made someone pregnant in high school. <laughs> Primary school. What do you mean? Primary. It was during the interhouse. You know, when everybody was running. Long <laughs> data. He was running to the pussy. <laughs> how did you, Fred Checker? How did you escape that? You uh, a teenage pregnancy. How do you ensure that you don't fall pregnant? Mm. No. How did she escape it? Because I get it. She was. In high school last week. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You were like high school. You're in high school now, now. Um, I do not believe in peer pressure. I oh. believe that each person makes their own choices. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I. Would and she's the one that never got invited to parties. Ah, she won't give you I, that I was. one. Nah. I give was. You that. So when you, okay, so you, as a person who was recently in high school, what's the conversation with? Your high school boyfriend um, around sex and condomizing. I did not have a boyfriend who was in the same school as me. He was in college when I was in high school, so mm. no, we wouldn't talk about such. We would. And how old were you? Wait, what, what when, would you wouldn't talk about it? We we would talk about it, but not in a manner of a high schooler or at high school. Uspan Ban is doing it, so I would like to do it. Hence, I'm saying I do not believe in peer pressure. I believed that if you were willing, you'll wait until I was done with school. Then oh, was that your situation? He had yeah. to wait. Yes, he had oh, to wait. Oh, okay. So you okay. you were done. Yeah, that was the agreement. That was the deal. And then your peers. Wow. Beautiful. I, What did you notice? Obviously, each grade, there would be a minimum of two girls pregnant. Oh. The first time I saw a person pregnant, I was in grade eight and I was 14. Uh-huh. And she was in the same grade as mine. Ah. There was still more you know, in the school. So it's a norm. It's something you get used to. Whether you're in a government school or a multiracial school or even a private school, it's a norm. What But school were you in? I was in... Okay, what school Eitzach? It's in it's a multiracial school, public what school. What school? It's in Eitzach. <laughs> yes. Eitzach. Yeah. So you, it's a norm. It's things that you see, and then you ask questions if you would like to ask questions. But most of the time, you're taught that you it's none of your business. So you pretend as if it's normal. You pretend as if it's okay. When you hear span ban lost their virginity, it does happen, but it's normal. It's part of life. Mm. My question is through that 91, is it consensual? Mm. Because That's there are certain people who question. do get raped and then from rape they start becoming sexually active. Oh. And then there are those yes. Hold on. Who so they're not impregnated by the rape, but you'd say the rape is the reason they Yes, it was a key. And then there are those <laughs> who have been raped multiple times by people yeah. hey. and they ended up falling pregnant. Mm. And also from oh, that 91, sad. it's also about money. As you said, Bo, Sai and Bougie with the 50K. How is it at home? What type of 
I could say environment I in for you to be. Some people trap with babies. So what pushed you to trap sure. that nigga yeah. with trap, the babies? Yeah. Yes, yeah. we are very woke. So there's many ways to relate or translate the story. Wait, now, when you say trap, you mean uh, uh, this is, would be a girl in high school trapping a guy with a baby? Yeah. Yes, if if oh. I find interest in Saul, and I know that he works in Kaya FM, any girl turns 21. Today there's a girl who's turning 21. She's hotter than I am, most definitely. Next year, there'll be a girl who's turning to And Sol is a bag. What's right stopping now? me from mm. falling pregnant? This is you are and I'll say million. that. Yes. A 15 year old can think like that. What's <laughs> stopping me? You know, environments will hey. force you to. Big Nyash. <laughs> <laughs> He's a catch. In, hey, environments will force you to be mature. Hey, environments will, will force you to see things that people wouldn't think you need to see I at that age. Yeah. So there are people with different mindsets, with different understandings. Others have it as a, so, as a way of entertainment. Some do it to keep the relationship, the break people, but the 10 minute convo. Maybe baby Obone is some other grade eight, and she's like, okay, I'm going to give it to him Ooh. so that he could focus on me and not her. So there's many ways to translate it, I guess. Sure. Hectic, eh? So would we say that it's almost like these kids' innocence has been killed? Oh, definitely. <sighs> Social media. Social ah, media. Social media. Let's man. not delegate responsibility to <coughs> and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about those obviously who are in situations that are weird like rape and sad and stuff. You know, but let's not delegate responsibility to social media, guys. Mm. In social media, I usually don't condomize. They'll show booty, they'll show everything, but you're not condomizing after all the messages you hear from your parents, which you should when you're in high school, to TV. But so they're also not saying condomize. To the adverts? Who's not saying condomize? The same people that don't say don't condomize. Who's saying don't condomize? Man, see, this thing of being a genius is yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't speak to your own thoughts. <laughs> I can't speak to you, mere right. mortals. Ah, guys, there's nothing wrong with social media, man. Hey, bro. It's, it's like this thing where they used so to say if, if hip hop music. Your, your daughter now asked you to for a phone and wants a TikTok. Would you? No, let, 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 let me break it down to you, right? Break it down, break it down. Bef before social media, yes. the only influence, like she was saying, that she doesn't uh, succumb to uh, peer pressure. Yeah. The only peer pressure you had was from your peers, which you saw live jive at school and whatever. Right now, the pressure comes from the phone, bro. And it's not even just your peers, it's the whole world. The whole world. Okay. That's why these girls feel pressure to change their bodies. See, and it's 21, she's changing her body. At 21. I should have done that when I was 21 so I can make, uh, what did Nessie C say? Gag. gag. Uh, aiming for her tonsils. Yeah. <laughs> when you make a gag, you're aiming for her tonsils. Yeah. I should have enlarged my dick when I was 21 so I can aim for the tonsils. <laughs> what? Makes it longer? Yeah. Short. No long. <laughs> No longer, so I can aim for the tonsils. <laughs> you don't get to the tonsils. No, at 21. I said at 21. Now you get to the tonsils. It depends which ones. <laughs> and this is with us fat girls who don't have, who don't have necks. <laughs> with a lot of neck. <laughs> no neck. <laughs> a lot of neck. <laughs> anyway, Kosei, what's been happening, man? What's been happening? What's been going on? No, guys. Actually, you know what? When you're talking about this whole um, pregnancy stuff, uh, so you remember Ooh, Natasha uh, Tahani? They broke up with Ooh, Loshi. Um, what is it? Tembi Gos. Oh, for real? Yeah. So now Damn. she's a single mother. Damn. You know? It's like she's part of the statistic now. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Aya? Why are you laughing? But are we shocked? We all saw that was never going to last, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. It's celebrity relationships, mm, you know? Mm. Like, psh, ah, I. So tea in the buffet. Oh, lele, but I mean, ah, Joe. 
They didn't even really let us in into their relationship. Number one, did they even confirm? You know, we all know they were dating because of we made it out, Instagram, whatever. They were together by the beach. But it's like, ah, whatever, man. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, man. Shit, she's a single mother now. You yeah. want to go in? Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm asking. Nah, nah, you nah. also want to do a hit and run. Mbet <laughs> Bale. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> so call her aunt on you, bro. Bro, you've been on the field the, the whole day and there's no Wi Fi. Yeah, eh? yeah. You've been on the field the whole day and there's no Wi Fi. Not the doing? whole day. Earlier I mean, I was the whole show. The no, whole earlier show. I was checking the, the thingy. Back. You know why? Because the emails had that girl's name so I'm going there now I'm going to our prep to see what's going on because once you've downloaded something you can still download it again it's in the memory oh. that's what I'm going on oh, okay. bro when you see me here it's for here it's for what we're doing mm. don't even bother about it oh, did it's you for what any, we're doing on the show did you find anything in the prep that you like uh, no I was still going I was, I was talking about launch I was talking about launch I was talking actually about launch while while <laughs> Actually, on soccer, it. since we're on soccer now, Lord. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing something there. Oh, Andy <laughs> Limpisan. Did, did you see him play? I saw that. Shame, man. Uh, that league, uh, yeah, that wasn't a league game, actually. It was the Kaiser Chiefs game, right? Yeah. Makufa Cup. It's becoming a whole joke. But at the same time, he's legal, he's registered as a player. Why can't he? Yeah. That's the thing. If you own the team, you can do as you please. Me, as fat as I am, if I own a team, or yes, even man. if I don't, but if Chiefs registers me as a player today, who coach at Tingen, Zonghen, and he's not breaking any rule, so let the man live. And his mom came for his defense, you know. So what he, no, my son, you know, he trains every day. You know, there was an article that she's just defending her son, Umam Kize, saying, yeah. You know. But what are they attacking himself? him based on? That's the thing. Eh? What are they attacking him based on? No, because, you know, he doesn't look physically, you know. But he's qualified. The rules don't say Murubin a is to play in the PSL. The rules say you need to be registered under a team to play. They don't say there's no weight limit. Benny was playing and he was fat for Orlando Pirates, Benny McCarthy. The rules don't say, they just say you need to be registered and you can be fielded as a player. And I guess obviously people just like to hate on the fact that, you know, it's his own team. So it's like. He Did he substitute himself? No. Now he went in before, like that when the game was going towards uh, yeah, the end. ending, and yeah. they were leading like one no, <laughs> and it became a cup thing. <laughs> so that oh, he yeah, can lift up the cup <laughs> to lift the trophy. Hey, money can <laughs> buy you stuff, dog. Exactly, money, bro. Exactly. Money. That's why people. I think we're just money. all jealous, you know, guys. Guys, we're just jealous of who and deal. And like, think about it. If you were a billionaire, or your mom was a billionaire, and you have always wanted to play in the NBA, and you own an NBA team, and you enter. Guess what? Nobody can really shit on you. They can, but it's not validated by anything that's concrete. Who has more trauma, Sain Buji or this guy, Andil? Sain Buji, bro. Sain Buji. Ah, Andil is fucked, bro. Sandile never needed to get paid 50k a, ma a week for a relationship and have a person have their way with, with them. Okay, when, out of when he's 30, what do you think he's going to live for? When he's 30? Yeah, he would have done everything, bro. Yeah, but maybe, come on, that's... No. You see, maybe that's your motivation, experiences of life. Yes. Right? Yes. Maybe not him. We spoke to a thing, uh, 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 that's her uh, thing, Rob Herself earlier on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was born into a super rich family. Yeah. He still found meaning as he got older, exactly. even though by 30, he probably traveled the world and done things. Yeah, he his, meaning now, hobbies. <coughs> his meaning now is to give back to people. And the lady is not going to be trying to do that. You, you, you know? No, but you get to that point as a kid of a rich, of a billionaire by experiencing everything and then realizing that, shit, if my life meaning is based around doing things, then it's meaningless. Then you find a deeper meaning, like giving back. So you probably will get to a point where he actually wants to give back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you hearing us? Uh, these guys, <laughs> the wishful thinking. Oh, I <laughs> I'm born a conqueror. I'm a conqueror. How old is Andile, bro? He's a is kid. He 21. Yeah, he's 21. He's the same he's age as I am. Yeah. So you can't do this thing till he's 40. At some point, it's like you. What you did 20 years ago 
with half a million rands in your account. <laughs> right? Exactly. It's different, <laughs> it's different to what you do today with half a million in your account. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The choice of things you purchase, things you prioritize, just based on growing up. Yeah. You grow up. Just by virtue like of age and growing up. Hobbies, Who's so cool? Who's so cool? I don't think you'll be... The, you see, the problem with not having that shit on your 20 is you're buying a GTI at 45. Yeah. <laughs> right? You've seen that shit happen. Yeah. Like, that was awkward. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's done that. You'll grow up. I'm, I hope. Mm. Did you see but, his baby but Fat mama? Checker, Fat Checker agreed with me. Why did you agree with me that Andy Lou will have more trauma than Cyan? Yes, that doesn't make sense. I feel as if um, he's given everything on a silver platter. So he's never been given the opportunity to grow and learn the field. I mean, compared know? to Petrus Motepe's sons, um, you could tell by the type of lifestyle that he chooses to live. I mean, we are this, I'm also 21. But I feel as if <coughs> I'm not rich, rich. But I feel as if I would have made better choices. I wouldn't impregnate two women who are older than me. These are just my personal opinions, by the uh, way. Would you impregnate two uh -huh. women? Wait, would you impregnate two younger than you? Pardon? So Why is older than him a thing? I feel as if he's, I could say he's put himself in a position of being given everything easy. What if and it was a wise decision for him life. to impregnate girls that were older instead of impregnating girls who in their teens who are 15 and 14? Where's, Will that be better? What's, what's wise in that? Because those who are older can take care, better care of your kids than a 14, uh, well, not a 14, that be statutory rape, than yeah. a 20 year old. What guarantee is there? Because who's tell already as a kid? On a match fitness, like of raising a kid, on experience. Yes, raising, but pocket wise, it's coming from the parents, right? He, he can't and pay for really maintenance. Really it's his parents who are paying for it. And Mam Kize is only going to live in this world for a specific period of time, right? <laughs> and then when, when God for, I mean, Bongane Fase blew 20 million, what's stopping him from doing the same? Blue or sniff? What's stopping? He didn't eat. He inhaled. <laughs> inhaled. <laughs> it's like vacuum versus versus blow dryer. You know? Two, two My different question, devices. He hasn't been groomed. What stops him from making a bad business choice? What stops him from putting the money in a bad investment? You know what, what Rob Hersev said from, today? Yeah. Sorry to cut you, my love. Mm -hmm. You know what Rob... Uh, I'm getting used to you, my love. Hey, uh, sorry to cut it. you, my love. My hey. love. <laughs> Sounds like Jeffrey Dahmer. Hey. Sorry to cut you, my love. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. <laughs> <laughs> he says it takes 10 years... This is Rob Hersov, ne? Billionaire. It takes 10 years to build a business, six months to destroy it. Yeah. Continue, as you were, my love. Yeah, six months. What's stopping him from actually making the bad decisions? I mean, currently, Petrus also has a son who's around our age, okay. who's not flashing the money, and I can bet that his father might even have more, who's not Probably. doing all these crazy <laughs> things. And if you are to look at the sons, all three of them, they placed in positions with CEOs. Mm. They're learning after their father. I have more faith in them than I do in Andy Lee. Andy, Andy Lee has a whole team in the PSL yes. that is a chairman. How, slash does, how does the CEO. team get onto the PSL? Does it like matter? many it other does. teams. But this is what has happened with other it teams. Does. What, they buy what statuses from teams. They're shortcuts. Yes, you buy the status. His mom did it, right? What's stopping him from thinking that he's making Good that choice booze. and then makes a bad business choice? Good look booze. Not that I wish him bad. Or I understand what she's saying and I'm I, with I you, my love. He's never been well. in the trenches. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Patrick's kids, kids never have been in the trenches. They are exactly. in the trenches right now, she just said. How are they in the trenches? They've been groomed by other CEOs. They've been groomed. Currently, I mean, Petrus has given sundowns to one of his sons. He is, you see, he's there. He's learning the fields instead of being on the field running. You have a problem with his flamboyance, but 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 what Patrice has done is exactly what Mum Kiz has done. Exactly. Give the team to your kid. Yes, but teach him. He's how to just pull more flamboyant. Ropes. Teach him how to put. No, 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 no,
Okay. Man, Kizze. Let me keep trying. Check out her Instagram. No, my love, I'm I with you. Her. I'm with you. I know her. Just I've call if you need everything. backup. <laughs> Just call uh, if you need backup. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be a genius like me. I'll come and I'm coming to Paul and Paul's bag. Come on, Gilly, put my own Gilly. I'm not expressing up to you. I'm confused. You're like, the fuck, fuck, call it genius. Come on, right, I'm going to leave. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> My boo, guys. Look, I get it. Just that if you want to say, you must have substantial th- Look, if you want to say it's flamboyant and yeah. it's blowing money, of course, of that's course. that's that that's not a good thing, right, for anyone, no matter how rich you are. But you, we can't say he's running the team to the ground when it's doing okay. And the PSL is doing okay. They just won a trophy. They just beat Chiefs, you know? But also, he's 21. What else must he do? He's 21. What else must he do? Learn. Mesh doesn't understand this vibe. No, no, no. Give, give, her give her the mic and then use, ghost, oh, use Ghosty's mic. Use Ghosty's mic. Use Ghosty's mic. You haven't been understanding what she's saying, right? No, it doesn't make sense. Uh, you can't compare people's lives. No, I'm not saying he should go to school. Everything you develop it from a skill, right? And you need a skill for a certain thing, right? Playing soccer, okay, yes, it's fun. Riding all these, um, I don't know the type of cars he drives, but your G63s and, and et cetera, and your Ferraris and Austin Martin, it's not going to bring essence to you. I mean, these things come, they go. Bring ass. I mean, <laughs> 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 they do bring ass. It's going to bring ass. It's gonna bring ass with sense. Yes, it brought it ass with sense. sense. Yes, it did. Sure bring more day fam. Like you, you know. Let's go. Go bring something. Who says he wants essence? The problem is you. Are, you, you are, the problem is you assume he wants essence. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Why doesn't he learn how to build what his mother has already built? I learn how mm, to mm. extend it. Maintain Make sure it. that when your mother leaves... And this is how kids kill generational wealth. Mm. Sustain so, it, build it, and make it bigger. Valid. Instead of one soccer team, why not build stadiums? Oh, why not take it girl, overseas? My love. You're currently oh. running on a field. You're, oh you're running oh. after a ball. Oh. Guys, it's easy. What it's essence it's does that have? Kids it's building stadiums. Like, it's easy. Easy cars just speak. Yes, and that sounds no what you and Zani during the day and yeah. they're like, come on. Guys. Can I say something? It's it's easy. Can I say something? Some of us are analytical, which is I believe uh, is Patrice's son. And some of us are creative, which I believe is Mamkiza's son. So when uh, I feel like you just wait, Andy Lepisan is creative. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like he, you. He's using his creative <laughs> side. He's more of a no, 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 no. I get what he means. Patrice's kids, Patrice's kids love being in suits, maybe, or maybe they don't even love being in suits. Maybe they are forced. Okay, let me ask you one thing. What if yeah. Andy Limpisan is happier than Patrice's kids? Isn't that what we all always preach and say, talk about happiness? What if those kids hate being in suits? Yes. What if one of them wants to be a skateboarder, but he's in a suit? I don't be cool, but I Instead, you. he's in a board meeting. I mean, when you're 40, you can start skateboarding. My girl. <laughs> My girl. Oh. <laughs> skateboarding in your crutches. <laughs> but I understand you, yeah. Chaka. I do understand. I get where you're going, though. I get where you're going. But I just think we can't be that judgmental uh, on people and the shit they decide to do. <laughs> no, but bro, and you we can't. can't oh, 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 we can, but we can't say he's doomed. Yeah. 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 We can't but say. But also, but also, fat checker, checker, fat checker, he's young, bro. He's 21. What is he meant he's to do? Kid. Come on, he's a kid. Look, he's 21. This is, this is a time to fuck bitches, drive all the cars. You'll see all that adult like shit after 30. Eh? I'm here. And then? You are here. Eh? I'm also 21. 
Oh, oh this is you. I thought you said you were here. Like, is this so, so him? Yeah. Let, wait, wait. Let's turn your mic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's turn your mic. You saying? I'm also 21, but yeah. I'm here. Doing what? I know. I'm here. Pardon? I'm trying to get waiting no. for, wi- waiting for <laughs> Wi-Fi to come back. <laughs> waiting for Wi-Fi. Yeah, no, your problem, <laughs> your problem <laughs> is you, you, you're an old soul. You're an old soul. Yeah, yeah. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Yes. Enjoy your youthness. Get pregnant. Uh, abortions. No, 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 all that stuff. No abortion, no. Get it out the no, way. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I, we're not getting her. Explain, bro. You get her. She's the type of girl when she's 40, she's like, oh, I've never had a threesome. Yes. And she's married. And you're she's not, telling the other sound sure. guy from podcast. <laughs> that, the other <laughs> sound guy from podcast and chill. Uh, you know, and like, hey. oh. you've never. Hey. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And my husband, he's not been answering my calls mm. for three days now. Mm. And then then you become that old man in a GTI. And then and she's got an RCA, things. he's got an input. No. Hey. What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's that time. I usually run out of puns by this time, man. <laughs> I'm depleted. <laughs> hey, 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 he didn't smoke weed today, man. She Kulum. Kulum and Pat. Oh, he's sober. <laughs> he's sober today, yeah. He's contributing. Can I just say something to you, ne? I am in my late 20s, right? And you in your early 20s. And I believe I'm living a tailor-made life. Like Mac G. I'm... <laughs> Yep. No, tailor made life is that. What, what tailor made life? Tailor made is my choices. I'm doing what I want. Yeah. Um, beautiful, man. My, my parents said, go to school. I said, no, I don't want to go to school. Oh, beautiful. This is why, and it's working out for me. So, when are you coming with the mentality of my father's a preacher? I must also be a preacher. No. And that, it doesn't work like that. You, you're not going to be. Ha- that's what you're saying about pre- um, you know, Patrice. Yeah, Patrice. Yeah. Your father's a billionaire, the CEO, he's being groomed by They could be frustrated. What if they don't want to do that? Yeah, yeah, and they're doing it, and we, we think they're a model example. Here's Andile doing everything he wants. He's doing music, he's playing he's soccer. Happy. He's happy. He's he looks mm, happy. He does. No, he does. really does, he bro. Does. Like, he's enjoying his life. He's so his please life. come correct with that. Like, Yes, you. I am... Um, I understand what you're saying. Happiness comes first, right? And there's no better time to make your mistakes than now. Right? Yeah. There's no better time to explore than now. Yeah. You can do that, but without leaving the essence. I mean, I live a triple life or more. You get me? I'm a school student. I'm an employee. I still have time to go clubbing. I still have time for those three sums that they're talking about. Hey! Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the show is starting. Do you end up? The show is now starting. Now the show starts. Hey, it's, it's just an hold example. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> all right, all right. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Well, we need to fit, we need to fact check this one. Okay, your first threesome, right? Okay, no, I'm not gonna answer to that. Yeah, no, don't, but my love. That's not a question. Still, yeah. It's not a question. You're still yeah. It's not a question. I didn't ask a question. Hectic. No, no, no. I'm not answering. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that through it all, I still understand that there's more to what's happening now. There's still a tomorrow to think about. Mm -hmm. My father is not a preacher. My dad is an engineer. I'm not following his ways. I went to university because of my own plans. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. And I feel like they colorate with what I want to do. You can be a creative like what you're doing currently, but just still putting in essence to your craft. You being here every day, taking on time. videos, on time, editing, you are building. You're building to something. Yeah. Who knows, maybe you might be the next production company in Hollywood or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe you might be the person to bring Hollywood to South Africa. Oh. Who knows? Preach, but girl. it doesn't mean that every day you get me. But, so, oh, Andy, <laughs> he is the out here catching uh, strays <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> for the <laughs> highest defending is Hennessy. Out here catching. But are we, are we assuming but that Andy Lovuga and Gehabli? 
and, and then we don't know his I'm not no, assuming. Let's not go back to Andy. Oh. Like, she, 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 we, we passed that. Yeah, I'm, Andy, let's I'm okay, not we'll assuming because I don't know what's happening behind the yeah, door. But what I'm trying she's, to say is, is do what you want to do. Do you, boo. Yes. But focus. Yes. You know, at some okay. point, you got to be I strange. totally agree with that. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree with that. She's right in her own right. But who said that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 and he does not focus. I didn't say he's not focused. I'm just saying that currently he could be trying to spend more time, you know, trying to learn the ways, connecting in other ways, than just to be on the... I feel as if currently we know Andile for trying to be a musician. I don't know how did that work out for him, but the fact that he's on the field, I mean, it means that it didn't work out. He tried... Um, it's it's a personal opinion. It's just a personal opinion. Um, he has tried a lot of things that his mother has ventured into. When will it be time for us to be introduced to something that Andile brought up by Andile? Oh, he's twenty-one. Uh, guys, uh, guys, I am no. twenty-one. I'm Nasty 21. C is making yeah. chicks gag. And yeah. at twenty-one, Nasty C started at twenty-one too or younger with your hell no and juice bag. Yeah, and, and he's focused. The, he's focused. I he's mean, got NFTs. He he's now got has property. He's got investment. I am sitting Andy here. Andy has got investments and properties. Oh. His mother, come on. We don't know. Probably in his name. I get, I get you, my love. But, but, but I, I get you. Can we, can we but also, know him? Let's know not him, be drag him. I'm not dragging to him. It's just a personal opinion. He still has room to grow. We all do. Who knows? Mm. Maybe bro, next week. Bro, be us, asking. bro. Mm. We were fucking around in our 20s at Y and stuff. But Fair we still enough. had time to focus on our craft and... Uh, it harness that fair yes true in as much as we were fucking around that's what she's saying she's saying yes. it can't all just be it needs to be balanced yeah it can't all just be rockstar life yeah behind the rockstar life there's some o- organization which are people like andy they probably also have because i remember during the week um i'd be so honed in on my craft reading about how it's done and you know watching things and learning whatever. and learning yeah and then weekends are ah, when you yeah, yeah rock star yeah you understand so, yeah but then monday it's back to pretty much like a guy with a nine to five you understand but it rock star that's what she's saying weekends. fair enough it can't be one-sided because mm. then when you're 30 what do you have mm. you know fair enough so was it two Girls, one guy. Uh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just answer that. Like, which one is your favorite? Hey. Two girls or two guys? Which? What's your favorite? Two guys it or one girl? It was just an example. It was just an example. <laughs> it was just an example. It was an example. It was. It for was an instance. example. For instance sake, which one would it be though? Yeah, if you were to partake then or engage. I'd prefer females. Ne- Two yeah, females. Yeah. 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 Oh. Hey, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we agree. <laughs> uh, before oh, we get out of here, man, twice. big shout out to Big Hash. He's made it into FIFA 23. Hey, for yes, real. Shout yeah, out to yeah, Big yeah, Hash. Yeah, yeah, soundtrack. Hey. Soundtrack lineup, yeah? Oh, shout yeah, out to Big Hash. You know Big Hash? I know Big Hash. She was the one who was dissing. She. Um, she. He. Did I say she? Yeah. <laughs> no, that light skinned boy from Pretoria. I know Big yeah. Hash, man. I know Big Hash. Round and round in circles, making. Is that a. One of, does he have hits though? You fucked up. He's got one with Ted. Why is it not big trees? like Aries big? Hey, Amen. Oh, so that's not his time yet. He, he, almost like all and do he's got amazing music. Um, touch lines, some something similar like that, right? Mm. Got their following, got their fans steadily growing with amazing music, mm. but just not not like Svalunyaga hits. Man, it's so crazy. Me and my woman are hooked on Rings of Power. Oh, yeah. And every time I watch it when she's not there, she gets mad, dog. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who's her so favorite character? Like, who's, who, who's she like? Here? She's indecided because she likes uh, the lady, man. What's the Galadriel. lady? Galadriel. Yeah. Love Galadriel, Yes, man. yes, yes, yes. She likes her a lot. I've noticed one thing. I don't know if it's like... Because I, I normally watch on my TV, right? But mm. I was watching on the laptop. And there's one feature that I like when you pause or you hover the mic to the left what it does is on that particular scene i don't know maybe this sounds stupid maybe you guys have known this it then shows 
all the characters oh. and then it gives you a synopsis of mm. a background oh yeah of what yes, they're talking yes, about yes. it's the fucking coolest especially for shows like rings of power mm. there's so many characters in so many places there's uh the the the, the, the um, not the middle east what do they call the mid east there's so many lands and realms right mm. hence yes. like the, the, the rings and stuff and there's so many characters it's the coolest thing ever yeah like and you just pause hover the mic to the left it'll then give you a little thing of what they're talking about the background and give you all the actors and their ty- their, their names. I it's think it's just a thing. it's a feature on Prime Video. For, for on Prime Video yeah. for all shows. Yes. Because oh, I don't always nice. watch on my TV so I never watch on my laptop and I realise and I'm like oh fuck what a great experience. Yeah. Especially because there's so many places to keep up with you know the islands the characters it's brilliant. And you Ghost Lady who you had with Rings of Power? Um. Well I'm at actually the latest episode mm. where there's a whole fight. I don't yeah. know if you're there as well. No, I have to wait for my woman so we can watch it together. Oh, okay, Otherwise, okay. Right. the dog box. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, so you mentioned about um, the orcs and one of the characters there yes. with the South African accent. I actually heard. You heard it? Yes, I heard it. One of the motherfuckers got yes. a South African accent. I was yes. like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> hey, man, hey, hey, because of water, hey. Man, you know, man, right? You heard it? Yes. Because exactly. I'm so curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Make sure man. you check it out. Rings of Power on Prime Video. Oh, yeah, man. I wanted to do something, but we ran out of time because we've been talking about it. What do you mean, How do we run out of time? Because it's an hour now. It's an hour now. It's an hour now. Oh, ah, but man, you know what I wanted to do? do man. Ah. Hey, let's do that thing. Who's got girlfriends here? Mesh. Mesh got a girlfriend. Who else? Um, Tibla. Um, Tibla. Tibla. Uh, and Tuso's got a girlfriend. Tuso, eh? Yeah, he's part of the Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I was not uh, Maligan, but he's got guys, a girlfriend. H- yes. How loyal do you think your girlfriends are? Yo. Yo. <laughs> Very loyal. Okay, hey, all hey, of them. Who now? He's like, <laughs> heads up if you think your girlfriend is loyal. Yeah, all right, let's call them. So let's call them and mac on them. Me and you will mac on them and see if Ooh, they would. Don't let's yeah, do that. Let's do that. Bro, give us you don't trust. You don't trust your girl. No, I don't. Ah, come Hold on, come, fam. Come on, hey. Yo, I want to hear it. Yo. Podcast. Come on, hey. hey. Oh, you know what? We know what the problem is. You know what the problem is? He is scared to give out a number in case the other girl is watching <laughs> and is expecting her phone to ring. <laughs> Okay, let's start with Tibla. Tibla, give us a number. Tibla, okay. come. Uh, where's the, give where's us a number phone? of your girl. Where's my phone? Give us a number of your girl, Tibla. Oh, I'll my phone. You want to give me the number on my phone? Okay, brilliant. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put it in. You will know. Oh, so you met her. Oh, man, she's because I he was, it was at his gig. At the toilet, so initially, what <laughs> funny? <laughs> so now it's like, oh man, There's finally it's you. <laughs> oh yeah, it, <laughs> finally, oh, kuni kuni ngifa, kuni ngifa. Yeah, okay, here we go. Mesh, we funa we in a van. You got it. All right, so you you rocking, eh? You rocking. Let's rockin'. go. Yeah, What's yeah, your yeah. name, bro? Who's going to? Who? Swena. Swela. Swela. Okay. Hello. Yo, hey, Suela. Hi. How are you? I'm good, are you? I'm good. He's speaking to Saul. Solomzi, actually. Who? Solomzi. I don't know you. Who? Solomzi. From what? Solomzi Penduga from Podcast and Chill. What's up? Oh, Saul. You good? Yeah. Listen, like, yo, I don't normally do this, man. It's just that... You know, Tibla, when he speaks about you and the way he described you sometimes, and please don't, like, before I continue, I need you to promise you're not going to tell him we're at the school. Yeah, I won't tell him. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, I saw a picture of you on his phone, and look, I love Tibla. He's my young boy, but uh, I think I'm captured by you, man. Like, I saw your eyes, and I'm like... Now I'm going to tell you about Swela. Swela. And I'm from Wela. Like, I'm serious. Like, please don't tell him, man. Like, Tibla's like my younger brother, you know? Um, but the heart wants what it wants. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I can't. Can I switch to video call now? 
I really just want to see just your face move because I've just um, been seeing just pictures of you and you're amazing, man. Like, and even the way he just talks about you, you know, yeah, um, blame him for telling me so much about you, but I feel like I know you already. Can we at least just, you know, where do you stay? Um, in Park Town. Yeah, f- f- I'm like 10 minutes from Park Town and I've got a gig tonight. Can we just go together? Nothing has to happen. We'll just, I'll play and then we'll chill, have a bottle or two and just chat. Um, No, I can't. Not without Kevin. I can't. I'm sorry. Nah, you're a good woman. Tivlis luck is a lucky guy. Thank you. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> you live on the podcast. You gotta keep her, man. You gotta, you gotta keep, keep her. her, bro. You gotta hey. keep her, bro. Swella, hey, Swella, you love on the podcast, eh? <laughs> Why are you doing that, man? Yo. Were, were you tempted at any time? Because I heard the way you said, oh, so Lomzi, yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I wasn't gonna do it. No. Ah, shout out. You love Tibla, don't you? I love him. So he's well. here, he's yeah. here. Anything you wanna say to him? <sighs> No, I'll call him. <laughs> does he does he reach the tonsils? <laughs> or, or when he tries, it's a joke. It's a gag. Imagine imagine you try to get a girl, she looks in your eyes and laughs. Put your dick inside of her. <laughs> All right, next, next, next. Mesh, let's go, Mesh. Let's go. Let me rock this one. Ah, ah, I'm preparing. Hey, I'm texting. I'm preparing. Oh yeah, there's no network. Remember, yes, yes. Bring, 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 bring. No, I'm calling with my uh, not WhatsApp. Oh, for you calling yeah. with? Yeah, my 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 number. Oh, with, okay, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's in WhatsApp. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Ah, I'm prepared. The rat. Okay. He's a calamity. Hey, yeah. Who? What's your name? The uh, rat. Okay, you're on, yeah. Yeah, I'm on. How's my game? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Lerato, how are you? Hi, yeah. Good, man. It's Mac G uh, from Podcast in Chilo, correct? Oh, yes, yes. All right, sweetie. I'm good, brother. Mm, when's on Munch? What's happening there? Ah, I'm just kidding. Hey, man, you know, uh, the other day, Mesh showed me a picture, and I was like, oh, my goodness, I think I found my wife. Oh, my goodness. Hey. So what are you saying, man? What's happening? Eh? Ah, I, what are you I'm saying? not that girl. Can I see? Yeah? Can I see you like this weekend? When's on this weekend? No, no. Why not? Ah, uh, why? Why must you see me? I've got a rider. I know Mesh likes riders. Don't you as well? Uh, you know what? One thing I've realized, I don't want to be part of Mesh's work. I want to give him space. Yeah, but this isn't about Mesh's work. I want to work on you. I, I never. <laughs> you know what? That will never happen. You know? have, have you seen me? Hmm? Have you seen me? Have what? Have you seen me? Do you know what I look like? Have you seen me? No, I know, but I'm just not interested. I'm interested in Mesh. That's it. You telling me you don't want a piece of this? I don't. I don't like you. I'm far from that. I don't even think about it. You don't want a vendor nigger? Never. Never that. <laughs> hey, I know I tried. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lerato, you live on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, she wasn't uh, having it, hey. Hey, she wasn't having it from the, the get-go. From the jump. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
All I want is just mash. All I want is just mash. It's like she's a baby. Just it's mash only. Okay. Fucking uh. I can't believe this. My uh, goodness. Shout out to you, Lorato. You're a keeper, man. We were just playing around, all right? Oh, uh, okay, okay. Sharp, sharp. Yeah. Ah, let's go uh, too so. Um, um, let's go too so. Which one? Eh? Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm single, Jay. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. I, we know you, woman. We know you, woman. I, we know you, woman. We know you, woman. I, we know your woman's name. I, come on, bro. Are you afraid? He's afraid. Tuso, number. Give us a number. Eh? Ah, oh, Tuso. Oh, hey, Tuso, bring the number. Yeah, it's Pio Yeah, and we Sounds never, like we never Pio. initiated uh, uh, Tuso. Yeah, Tuso. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. never officially welcome yeah. you as Tuso. Tuso's our driver, by the way. Yeah, we're going to have my left, and my right. We're going to have my left, and my right. back door. Sa spaning ya la sarin. Sa sa butwana sa spaning. Hey, what is that? What is Mama wawa. Um sevezu mama wawa. Yeah, you rocking eh? Mama wawa. Yeah, no no, aya aya. You, you, I, okay. Okay. you can Mac, bro. Mm. You can Mac. I make with my face. You make oh hey, oh yeah, yeah God just like Look at this. Look. Right, what is the Malaka Joe? Because you saved us with a pet name. Mary. Mary, yeah. Mary. Right, Mary. okay. Mary. This is like This is the answering ah, service. Ah, where Lily? Where Lily? Where Lily? Hey, 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 hey! Tuso gave us that his other number. You know the one when he's lying to someone, he used to act like there was a message being sent, and then the other number. Ah, I ain't got no one, Lily. Ah, where Lily? You gave us your other number. Where Lily? Where is phone working? Where Lily? Where? Hey, what is she doing? And it's a this is the answering. Oh. Well, le, 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 ra, I'm going to get seven. Because we don't don't press it, we drop. Push it. By press it, by drop. Ah, well, le, le. I got no one. I got no one. One, one, two, two. Ah, you'll ever be, you'll be outsider forever. I'm trying to initiate you here. Ah, aye. Ah, aye. Ah, aye. We are not. We're not going anywhere. We are not oh. moving on with the show. Why are you singing? What, what happened to you and your girl? Hey, hey. Yo, what happened to you and your girl? Oh yeah, what happened to you and your girl? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give us Aya. the number. We're not continuing to give us the number. What happened to you and your girl? Oh yeah, what happened to you and your girl? Where's your girl? Oh, yeah. Oh, never, never. Oh, never, you can. Oh, never. Yeah, come on. Oh, Yo, never. Guys, come on, come guys. on. Come it on. won't happen. Come on. It won't happen. Ah, come wrong. It come won't wrong. happen. Come wrong, guy. Come. Like, also, Naledi knows his tricks. She'll know it's like, you're on the show. Yeah. Like, it won't happen. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Simpi. Tato. Make it in your shot, Daniel. Oh, Simpi is single, yeah. Tato. Your woman? Yeah. Hey? Aya, we're not continuing. Aya. We'll be here all night. It's fine. Uh, Aya, Aya, what happened to your girl, dog? Aya, your girl loves you. She's always all over you. How? Your girl loves you. She's always. <laughs> anyway, it's time for some announcements, oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that was fun, man. Yo, man. hey, but you niggas have good women. Hey, I'm proud of you niggas, yeah. man. Yeah, nice one, man. especially, up, man. especially Tibla, man, because I went in hard. Yeah, she wasn't flinching, and eh? she was like, yeah, no, no. Mm. So and you guys and must also you be good for men. for sure, we know she wasn't even like tipped prior with yeah. Yeah. Shout out, man. That girl fucks with you big time. Anyway, I need yeah, a drum roll, man. It's going down for the first time ever. Podcast and chill is going to be in Bloemfontein. <laughs> We're coming out on Bloom. the 9th of October at the Edge. Naval Hill tickets are available right now via web Can't tickets. Wait. 
uh, just follow podcast and chill events or podcast with Maggie for details and tickets and venue. This one is definitely for the books. It's podcast and chill network in partnership with Sunset Groove. It's my first time at Makufe. Can you imagine, bro? Same here. Yeah. Never yeah. been to Makufe. Bro. Yeah, man. Oh, it's Makufe. Yeah, it's Makufe weekend, right? Yeah. Shit, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to be out there, man. Looking forward to that. Also, we've got a new show coming out, so. Dope. It's called Piano Unleashed. Are we going to be ready this Woo. week? Uh, uh, mesh. Oh, yeah. We're not going to be ready this week. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's going on now? He's going through a breakup. He just told us. <laughs> He's done with a girlfriend anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's not coming out this week, but look out for a new show that we're working on. It's called Piano Unleashed. First artist we got on stage is Toss. Wow. Oh, shit. For yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. Ha- so, it's, uh, what is it? It's like... Obviously, uh, piano. <sighs> it's like... How do you explain the show, man? It's live performances. And a little interview with the it's guys like or amp. unplugged. Yeah, it's unplugged. Oh piano unplugged. Piano unplugged. Oh, so there's a band and shit. It's Ooh, live. That's actually a better name. Piano unplugged. Instead of piano unleashed. Because I was playing on the words, you know my handle Mechie is Mechie Mechie Unleashed. Yeah. 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 It's fine. Piano unleashed. unleashed is fine, bro. Yeah. Unplugged is too overused. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, unplugged, yeah, plug, yeah, 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 yeah. Unplugged, yeah. vibrate, unplugged. <laughs> Piano <laughs> Unleashed is brilliant. Vibrate, unplugged. Fucking man. And shout out you don't to know my. Them. Oh, yours is all, pl- all is plugged. <laughs> <laughs> Mine lives and breathes. <laughs> Can you call it? Is it loyal? Yes. Who can I say plug in? Also, right? Hey, what if you call him Naga and then uh, Fed Checker? She, uh, she, ah. He's never met Fed Checker, so he wouldn't know. Mm. Like, he wouldn't know the reference of What who if he's I saw you at gym? Yeah. How did she get the numbers? Ah, well, fine. It doesn't matter. Come on, no? Yeah. Should we do it? Um, let's do it. it. Let's do it. No, no, let's we, we need a better it. story though. It okay, let's be... work out the story. Yeah, let's I want to get story. a story. So, and we can't use my phone because he's. Got where does number. he work? Huh. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no. he works, man. Hi, bro. Then Such people, mean, yeah. So are, they, are they gonna Google Naga? He's a personal trainer. Mm. No, are they oh. gonna are, are they gonna Google Naga company name? Mm. Come on, hey, who's Naga? Are, Naga's not CIA's, his name. Bro. But we need a story though that she can be like, "Hey, I'm the girl from the fifth floor uh, at the office." Oh yeah, we're using your phone, eh? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. We need like, "Hey, I'm the girl from the eighth floor at the office." <laughs> yeah, oh, nine, 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 nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, can you hold on? <laughs> <laughs> You want the number, yeah? Uh, Ghosty, it is the 0781. Oh, oh. I want to hear oh, this. Oh, I've got the old one. Okay, let me go on our VK group. <laughs> I, I want to hear this. What, you, you're going vacation with him? <laughs> <laughs> Where last did you guys go? Okay, to here we go. It's the OE2 number, yeah? Um, uh, December. Uh, Where? New Year's, New Year's Eve. Where? At my uncle's lodge, Irex. Oh, oh, oh Irex. Yeah. 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 You can't, can't finesse like, him. Ah, oh, come no, you on. You can't? Check, uh, come on, man. Come on. You can't? Finesse him. Yeah. Nah, you'll be fine. You can. I will help you. He'll hold your hand. <laughs> Don't say though that you're from podcast and chill. Yeah. As soon as you say that, so what's the he's story? What story are we going? That's why we needed context. That's why I was asking. I saw you at gym. Ghosty, help us. This is your man. Okay, okay. <laughs> that does your man work in an office setup? The company is it a big company or it's like a company that he owns with two offices only? Oh, I got need to. Because if it's a big structure, you can just say, hey, I'm from work. Okay, we'll use... Uh, but also, because Naga is smart. Number. You know, he'll ask you, what company? Yeah. Like, what do you mean, work? Number, no? Then you'll be like, you see. Because to give us a story. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Give us a story, Okay, Uchi ma pum nak. Hi, man. You want people... Hi, bro. If it's not a virgin, a virgin, we pack. My first country, I go to rent as a gym. How people, people won't wait there, say we're looking for a guy who looks like a naga when they don't have a reference. Hi, bro, guys, you're overthinking this thing. Yeah. You're not those calls saying to people. We can't hear you. Speak on the mic, please. We can't hear you. I mean, you're trying to plan a story. Yeah, let's plan it together. Speak on the mic. You know, there are okay. those random people who ask you if you'd like credit or saw you. That's beautiful. I like that. I'd say I heard his voice and... 
I thought I should steal the number from work. Mm. Okay. No. You know what, ne? Mm. Don't. That sounds like a lie. S- call them as if you're selling something mm. and then divert the conversation yes, to somewhere else. Be like, yes. be like, yeah, to the voice. Be like, yeah. actually, like, fuck this, what I'm selling. Yeah, yeah, be like, maybe you're selling car insurance, right? Say you're selling car insurance. No. And I'm then, selling car Yeah, and then you'll be like, I know yeah. you got an, a- 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 an AMG. Huh. And then start to soften them up that's like, too long though man no you're just selling car insurance hey what's up this is so and so and so from this insurance we'll bleep it out <laughs> oh yes yes the gym one yo hey, hey, sh- the gym one is straightforward the gym one yeah but you told me that you work at the reception she works at the reception oh yes okay okay something went wrong thank you nyaba wa <laughs> Something went wrong because like who's a boozum naga? Hey pitchim. What if what if Naga says I've got a Are uh, you overthinking it? Let's just go. Watch. Watch. Yeah. Let's just go. Let's yeah. just go. Watch let's what's gonna happen. Let's go, let's go please. Right. Watch. Oh uh, you don't need the phone. Naga's yeah. like a whole engineer, gym. bro. Yeah. What Smart. type of gym? Uh Virgin Active, no? Yeah. Yeah. Virgin Active, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Mid range. <laughs> Hello. 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 Um, is this Mr. Mnaga speaking? Sorry? Is this Mr. Mnaga speaking? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> is speaking. <laughs> Hello. I am looking for a personal trainer. Am I speaking to one? Nah, I think you got the wrong number. Pardon? Wrong number. Um, okay, even though it's a wrong number, I do understand. I'd like to know, sir, if you are available. For what? Um, while well, listening to your voice, sir, it sounds like you're a very flattering man. And I'd like to know if you'll be available to hook up sometime. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, can I tell you what my name is? Okay, what's your name? My name is Sibusi Siwe, but you can call me Busi. And you are? Hmm? Sorry, who? My name is Sibusi Siwe, but you can call me Busi. And you are? Okay, you call me. It's personal name. Pardon? You called me, you're supposed to know me. Yes, sir, uh, I do understand that I called the wrong number, but after listening to that flattering voice, I thought that maybe I could meet up with you. Who gave you my number? Pardon? Who gave you my number? Who's from the calling from? Um, I have a friend from the gym who gave me this number stating that I'll get a personal trainer. Sorry? I have a friend from the gym who works at Virgin Active who gave me this number stating that I could get a personal trainer. Oh, really? Yes. Hello? Who gave you my number? Um, as I said, I got it from a friend. I'd like to know if you're married, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, tell Kanye I am married, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew this, I knew she should fuck it up. I told you, I told you. So I don't don't say, you can't say hello, is this some naga is speaking? Some naga Who is this some naga? How can you, is this some naga speaking? <laughs> Yes, I oh, 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 killed Number one, basic name. His name is not Naga. It's a name we gave him for the podcast. Okay, hi. It's not his real name. Say hello to some Naga speaking. But you guys didn't talk. You guys just said. Ah, it's Naga. Oh man. I just knew from there that this is 
garden is Hey, she was terrible. Mnaga, how are you, Mnaga? Hey, hey, hey. Mnaga. Is it good, Mnaga? Uh, no, I'm good, I'm good. Good, good, man. Ah, she was terrible, ah, she was terrible. Ah, Don't worry, it out. Watch the show, you'll get it, bro. Maybe we tried. It didn't work. <laughs> All right, shop, I Naga. Eh? All right, shop. I can't believe we... Are, are tell Kanye, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we, we missed the most important step, like... Naga, he would know it's a dead giveaway. Yes, yes. That's a podcast. We didn't see, we didn't think we were going to call him Naga. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. As soon as he said Naga, I was like, what? Hey, Mpukani, Mpukani Mike. Moshi, Mpukani. Mpukani Mike, Moshi. Well, hey. Any last thing you want to say, man? Nah, pe- people must leave to some video alone with an accent. So I think she was like on live or whatever, and people like she's got a fake American accent. But she lives in America, doesn't man. she? And people must leave to somebody, period. That girl's amazing, man. Fuck, exactly. Yeah, out there Hands for off. it couple vibes. To some baby. Yes. But John Boyega, Ukshaye, Ukshaye, in first man, it looks like they got something going on. Oh, He's also okay. on Woman King. Oh, dope, dope. John Boyega, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, leave to somebody alone, guys. How do you know it's a fake accent, number one? Mm, nah, man. It's just social media people being social media people. Actually, fucking yeah. hell, yeah. Anyway, shout out to our new patrons, Critic05, Lady Lisa, Tosam, Duke, Ubeka, Pasaleng, Mobile, Mazibuko, Just Lift, King, Mke, Mleke, Gulian, Drumlord, Sponge, Masabelo, Zamini, Nsako, Baloi, Kilian, Malumi, Sapule, Kahiso, Khotelele, Eunice, Malebela, Nomsa, Mahale, and it goes on and on. We appreciate wow. your support. Shout out, man. That's a lot shout of people. Wow. Guys. Brilliant. Shout it, out. Man. And big shout out to my lawyer. She's been going through a lot of agreements now because you know I'm releasing an EP. Because you, it's the same lawyer. Yeah, Tanya, Tanya. Yes, yes, yes. Let me She's, shout out to what Tanya. What's she going through? Uh, she's going through like my contracts for publishing, yes. uh, distribution. Who's doing publishing? Uh, publishing. Big fun music. So- Sony. Oh, oh Sony a- a- MTP or something. Yes. What is it called? ATV. Yes. Yeah. Sony ATV. And, and then Electro Mode is doing uh, distribution. distribution. And Electro yeah. Mode, they're good with the piano distribution. Yes, yes, no, yes. Brilliant stuff, man. So if you need a lawyer, make sure you hit up our girl Tanya Mukwane Inc. Uh, her website is www.timiincorporated.co.za. When is the music video shoot so that we can come and be extras? Nah, we should do a video, ne? Nah? I will. Yeah. <laughs> and I can wear a mask. I was chatting to Sir True because he's still out in the UK. When he comes back, we should do a video, man. Oh, yeah, definitely, <clears throat> man. Yeah. Nah. Definitely, yeah. Are you going to shoot Maligant? No, 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 yeah, you guys will shoot my videos too when yeah, I do my music. You know? When are you dropping, bro? Um, I'm gonna drop my first song. <laughs> dropping my first song. Um, collaborated with quite a few people. Bula Music, Josiah the Disciple decided Dope. to put something on the beat. Dope. Shout out to him, Tebow. You, you, you've us. got a, so, a song with Tebow actually. I have two. You got two songs, yeah, Tibo and Khan. TBO, yeah, he likes yeah. to be called Tibo. Oh, he wants to do, say Tibo. Yeah. Okay, I say Tibo, but it's Jesse, TBO. Jesse, Jesse, not Jesse. Josiah hated us. Josiah? Mm. Why? Not Jesse. Jesse is the one. Now remember when Bootle came on the show? Mm-hmm. The whole thing. Oh. Ah, then he doesn't hate us. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't hate us, bro. Oh, dope. No, we could. Yeah, I love yeah, it, man. Great guy. Um, we're looking at uh, mid-October, <clears throat> okay. my first single, and then probably end of, fuck it, I'll just drop all the other songs. Yeah. Because so many, is, I've got very nice songs, you know? Oh, who's doing your publishing and, and distribution? I do my own publishing, distribution, dope. electro mode. Ah, oh, dope, yeah. dope, dope. Right. I was looking at us like, hmm, the fun I love. Why it be fun? Why nga zi? Nga yis, why it be fun? Why nga yis, why it be fun? My man, we've had such a nice show. What are you doing? Hey, what's the hell, Andy? Oh, nothing. Oh, what is better? Hey, is everything fine? <laughs> No, it's the way he's going. <laughs> Publishing. Man, this has been a, a very rocky show for Aya. He, he's going through a breakup. Yeah, he's going through a breakup. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's yeah, having yeah. a hard time. Yeah, yeah. No, but I consult, I consult with Aya. You know, as I consult, pick up the phone. Aya, what's going on? You know, no, music. You huh? I consult. He's lying. Like, I don't yeah. lie. Don't, you don't. <laughs> what? What? Both of you don't. Don't lie. <laughs> Oh, I don't lie. We you, did the EP together. Uh, don't you fucking took it lie. to the white people. You don't consult with me. Ah. No, hold on, hold on. How did Mac take it to the white people? Yeah, yeah. Because of Is publishing. You wanted me to publish with Big Fun. Okay, but why did you choose the other company over Big Fun? He wanted more percentage. 
Ah, mm. so it was purely a business decision. Yeah, nothing personal. It's business. Yeah, it's not personal. It's business. If, if you say you want an eighty percent, and I must keep twenty. Ah, you talking <laughs> trash, nigga. <laughs> 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 You're talking trash, nigga. You're talking trash. We're, we're supposed to create a piano hub type of thing, but... But we, we are. No, we're not. What do you mean? How are we, how we doing it? Okay. I get after my EP is your EP. When? Whenever you're ready. We're doing a studio camp. I've already done the EP. Oh, yeah, you took you the other songs, ne? Yeah, no, no. Without the other songs. Oh, so then you don't need one. We're well, you guys had a whole EP weekend, sh- recording weekend. Yeah. Doing your EPs. Two days, ne? Yeah, 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 two days. I was there the whole time. Yeah. Oh, hey, beautiful. Mm. Beautiful stuff. So yeah. we did, um, what songs? How many songs did we do? You did See No One, Gyasfela. Gyasfela. Mdali. Mdali. Mdali is a beautiful song. And then which one did you take? Mdali. Which one did you take? For my EP? Yeah. Uh, Sopumelela. Oh, you talk Super Melon? Yeah. What, Shit. What hey, 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 Super Melon is a big song. Yeah, you know it, ne? Yeah. Oh. The one so, with the trap yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's inspired by my old music. Yes, yes. It's inspired by my old music. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's your like, shit. Like, I could hear it. Like, I'm like, that's your shit. Cuckoo, it's my shit. Yeah, yeah. that's your shit. The Dope. drum the drum line is your shit. Yeah, the drum line is my style. And then yeah. when are you dropping? 31st. Oh. October. October. Yeah. Who's Everything Done Black by Me. Uh, distribution? Oh, fuck. Everything Done Black by Me. You're doing your own distribution? Everything. Mm. Oh, black. Yeah. Everything. How we were supposed to do it. <gasps> oh, shit. Yes. Hey, hey, hey you sold it out. Yeah. Aye, oh, it down the Aye, drink. Mac. Aye, Mac, let's, it's fine. Okay, let's call the publishers. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, can't call his girlfriend. At least let's call the publisher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the publisher, nigga. <laughs> I own oh, everything. Oh. I'm the, I'm the You're calling the CEO. You're calling me. Yeah. <laughs> calling the PA. You're calling you. Calling no, the gardener. No, I have a PA. Calling you. I have a PA. Hmm. What's the name of the EP? Value of Time. Oh. oh, yeah, it is value. What's the name Beautiful. of your EP? All oh, songs you put your name on. Yes. Beautiful songs. Yes, yes. And I was with our robot boy there at Coffee. Uh-huh. Remember when you came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did a, a, a artwork for me there, right there on the spot on Let Instagram. Me see it. Yeah, so dope. Yeah, put I really it up like here. It. They, they're gonna put it up here, the guys. Yeah, wow. I really like it. And he did at, it at coffee. At coffee on Instagram, literally within two seconds. He's yeah, like, Robot Boys are creative, and, and he's on. He's on the EP on Spilly's motherfucker, right? Yes, yes, yes. Who's we, on Spilly's motherfucker? We got two songs. We got two songs. Um, Spilly motherfucker. It's reason. Sorry, Caesar Alakan. Uh. Well, People are blue ticking me. There's a song I wanted to give him Gag I'm shooting this. Like, I'm hearing him on the song. He's blue ticked me. Doss blue ticked me. It's crazy, right? Nah, Doss is busy, bro. Doss is busy, man. Oh, is he busy? Yeah, I know. Nah, that's fine then. Um, He's busy. Because I sent him some beats. But I got you know. some really crazy people, like, you know. Yeah, here we go. I'm working with. Look at that. How dope is this? <coughs> songs I put my name on. Songs make G. And then my name is on the word songs. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Songs, because it now reads like songs make G put it, my name on. Yeah, but my name, Meg G, is actually on the word songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's you know, it's, it's very it's very social media cool, and that's robot boy. Like, yeah. It's very like, bro, doesn't this make sense, media. dog? Look at this. It looks like it's something oh, that would be trash, like a statement. No God. way. It looks like shit. Like, come on. Shit, okay, no, 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 no way. The chillers will vote, yo. <laughs> bro, this is so smart, smart, bro. The chillers, let the chillers vote. Cause the, so Why my name you? is is actually on the word songs, and the EP is songs I put my name on. Please give that to Mesh to do it nah. like that. Oh, wait, wait, no. wait, wait. Guys, 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 he's explaining it wrong. You know what it's like, right? Look at this shit, bro. You know what it's like? Ah, this is... Uh, Listen. It's you, like I'm a know, rapper, you, no, no, no. man. My man, like, guys. Must vote. You know what it's like? This is overplayed, my man. No, you guys Simplicity. don't get it. Have you seen the lemonade? Uh, uh, guys. Uh, 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 That's a beautiful artwork. Yes, it's simple. Minimalist. That's trash. Ay, ay. Uh, I mean, see, the thing is with geniuses. <laughs> you know what, guys? You don't get I get it. Yes. The EP is called Songs I Put My Name On. So on the album cover, the title Songs, he put his name on, on top of songs, songs, on the word songs. Songs. Oh, shit, did you? Yeah. That's, oh. that's dope. It's minimal. No, no, I like the thinking behind it. It's minimal. It's trash. Say it. Ah, it's beautiful. It's brilliant. Guys. 
It's brilliant. Right. You niggas better like it, Pillar. It's end of the you're month. You're just hating on everything he's doing. <laughs> it's end of the month. <laughs> you niggas just hating on everything. I clock you like a clang, boy. Like a clang, you get. You didn't get it. You clock you like a clang. You clock you like a clang, boy. You're a fish sack. Clock you. We're gonna cut this. This episode will come out at about five o'clock. <laughs> Come on, five o'clock. As a man, she may have quite deep. Come on, five o'clock. Give me phone. Come on, okay. That's how I load shady. Hey, man, we are here. Podcast and chill. Peace, oh. guys. We love you so much. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even if when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.